Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Disc Makers. You know, frequently when an artist asks me, how much does vinyl record pressing cost? And I tell them, they go, ooh, nah, I don't think that's for me. Because it takes an investment to make vinyl records. Small run of vinyl records, let's say 200 records with jackets and labels and everything, probably run you about $10 a record, about $2,000. And yes, it's a lot cheaper to make CDs, and it's even cheaper still to just do digital distribution. But actually, this is kind of what vinyl always cost. If you go back 30 years to when vinyl was the big thing, a thousand records cost about three dollars. So that's three thousand dollars. If you calculate that in today's dollars, that's fifty six hundred dollars almost. And today, if you come to Disc Makers and you wanted to order a thousand records with jackets, the prices start at around three fifty a record. So the prices really in in constant dollars have not gone up much, and in actual inflation adjusted dollars, the prices have actually gone down. But of course. To get a thousand records, you need to be able to move a thousand records. Many artists are not confident they can move that many records. So, how many records do you have to sell and how long is it going to take you to sell the records to pay for the vinyl pressing if you do, let's say, a small run of about 200 records? So, 200 records, $10 a record. Cost you $2,000. If you sell the records, for $20, which you can do all day long, you need to sell 100 records to get back your $2,000. If you sell them for $25, which many artists do, you only need to sell 80 records. How long is it going to take you to sell 100 records? Depends on how often you tour, what else you're doing with them, how big your crowds are. But if you're a pretty active band, you play twice a week to a crowd of maybe 100 people, then all you need to do, if you if you convince 2% of your audience, two people a night, and really, that's two people a night, that's not that much, to buy your vinyl record, times two nights a week, that's four records a week. So in 25 weeks, you have sold the 100 records that you need. That's about six months. You've sold the 100 records you need to pay back your full pressing of 200 records. And then you have another 100 records to sell, and you can, that's basically pure profit on the rest of the 100 records. So, if you play larger crowds, it'll pay back faster. If you are on tour and you play more than, you know, twice a week, it'll pay back faster. So, there definitely is a way, a, a realistic way for you to make your money back as an independent artist. And by the way, it's not just all about the money. I mean, fans love vinyl. And when they come up to a merch table and they see that vinyl, they're like, wow, vinyl, that's cool. Even if they don't buy it, you, as an artist, will look cool, they'll think you're cool, it will help build your brand, and as the old MasterCard commercial goes, that is priceless. Hope you found this helpful. See you next time.